All right, hope everybody is doing great. All right, this is my brand new video. For those of you that have been following me on Twitter, I'm at Accurano. You know I used to hold the phone and, and, and hit the graphics and it was, wasn't good quality. So we're taping this today, but we are going to be start doing this live. I have my own little studio here they made for me, so I'm really excited. This um, and the the, um, the title of this segment or uh, of my uh, uh, video will be Chaos to Clarity, and there's nothing more chaotic than Bernie Reno itself. Now I want to talk about the weekend storm. So here we go, and look at I have all these fancy controls here. Um, let me go full here for a second. I want to show you. Here's our storm across the uh, across the uh, uh, coming in the uh, Northern California, Washington and Oregon. This is the energy that we're going to be following here over the next uh, couple of days. So it's this trough that's going to be strengthening Central U.S. Saturday, but it really gets going as we move into uh, Sunday here. So let me show you the 500 millibar. You knew that would be here. And I have a nice little drawing tool on this uh, as uh, well here. So let me turn that on. So uh, let me show you what's going on. So here's our piece of energy right in here. This is going to be diving to the southeast as we head toward the weekend. I want to show this to you and we'll put it into uh, motion here really quickly here. So watch this. Here we go as we get into Friday. Now we're in the Saturday morning. Look at the big trough, one piece across Minnesota, other pieces of energy across the Four Corners area. Now, as this trough comes north, I'm going to stop this on Saturday. For those in the Midwest that want snow, it's not going to happen with this. Not really. There will be a little area of snow. I'll show you that in a second. But the problem is, is note where your cold air is, way up in here. So there's going to be a little injection of cold air coming in on the on the backside of this system across parts of Wisconsin, but don't look for a lot of snow with this across the Midwest. I think there will be more in the Northeast, but this is not going to be a big snow event, unfortunately, for those that want that. All right, watch what happens as we go forward here. And uh, I have the year. This is European. Watch this trough really get going here Sunday night, right here. All right. Notice what's going on. Your trough axis, and this is Sunday evening, so the storm is already over for parts of the uh, uh, parts of the Midwest. But your trough is starting to be negatively tilted. You see that? And look at all of this energy. You're looking at winds of 500 millibars, about 76 to 80 knots. So that tells you you have a lot of wind energy here pushing across the Northeast. Now, at this time, you are starting to bring some colder air into the equation uh, uh, on, the, on the backside of this system, all right? So that is starting to occur in here. Now, this trough is going to come to the north and east. It's going to become negatively tilted. You'll also notice you don't have a consolidated piece of energy. You see how this piece of energy is strung out from north to south? That's what the radar is going to look like. So it's going to be this long area of rain. And again, on the back side, I'll show you why. I do think this is going to be changing to at least a little bit of snow here. All right, let's play this out as we go forward here. This is Sunday evening, G European GFS, European GFS. GFS, European GFS, you see that? I'm going to go uh, take this full um, so you can see this, all right? So you can see, here's my cursor. I have it in here. You can see this trough going negatively tilted. Let's go forward as we get in the Monday morning. Look at this piece of energy rotate through. It's like a bullwhip Sunday into Monday across Pennsylvania and New York State. You see that? There's the GFS. Here's the European. Now, backside, Backside, here's your trough axis right in here. So this is where you're going to start getting some changing over to the snow. Again, Sunday night, Monday morning on the backside of this system as this pushes on through. So let's play it on out. Here we go. Watch that trough dig across the central part of the U.S. Here's your snow threat. It's going to be across Wisconsin. All right. In here as we get in the Saturday night, Sunday morning. So you can see where I have the cursor in here. And then you're going to have this piece of energy rotating around the base of the trough. There it goes. Negatively tilted Monday morning. Here's where your snows start changing in the, uh, your rain goes over to the snow, northwestern parts of Pennsylvania and uh, in the western New York state. And then we continue to put that energy rotating that through in the Monday morning. I want to show you how much energy we actually have. And what I want to do is take a look at the low-level jet. This is winds at about 5,000 feet. Watch what happens in the Northeast as we get into Sunday and, and why I'm worrying about a damaging wind event here. Watch this. This is Sunday morning. 
Sunday afternoon. Look at this area of 60 knot jet wind here. This is across northeastern Pennsylvania, southeastern Pennsylvania as well. But a large area of 50 knots here across the mid-Atlantic and into New England. And it gets even stronger than that. Watch this. Boom. This is Sunday evening. So now you're talking about a large area of 60 knot winds, and it gets even stronger than that right in here. Look at this area. This is 60 knots as well, and this is going from New York City up into New England. So as this trough comes across the Northeast, you're increasing the winds here at around 5,000 feet. And I think you're going to be able to bring some of that down to the surface. So I, I know everybody's excited about the snow. I'm not. I'll show you the snow map. I, I don't think it's a big deal in the Northeast. What is a big deal is as this trough comes across the Northeast, you're going to have a tremendous amount of wind with this Sunday night into Monday morning. And I'm worried about power outages. Central and Eastern Long Island, all the way into Eastern New England by the time you get up on your Monday morning. All right? Because of this, watch that wind flow. Watch how that increases. Here we go. Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, Sunday night, Monday morning. Look at that wind Monday morning in Maine. That's 90 knots of wind in here. 90 knots of wind across eastern New England. Let me show you the surface map as this comes on through. Uh, here we go. Right here. Okay, so watch. Here we go. Sunday. And here we go, Sunday night, and you'll notice all of this yellow showing up. This is just going to be a soaking rain, and then you can see how that rain goes across New England. Now, I have the GFS in here, and you can see that back edge snow. I'm not really excited for a lot of snow with this in the Northeast Sunday night into Monday. I, I really think the big story is going to be that damaging wind area. Let me show you some graphics here to tie this in. Now, I was talking about the uh, Midwest here. Let me uh, show you the snow that we're looking at across Wisconsin. As I mentioned, it is not going to be a whole lot of snow, unfortunately, if you want that. You know, lacrosse, was, I'm talking about a couple of inches. Maybe in the eastern UP, you can get some. Now, let me get you to the northeast. This will be Sunday night into Monday. You know, I, for those of you in Pittsburgh, I, I, I think it's just not low levels. It's not going to be low levels. You may get some snow, but uh, certainly I think once you get along the New York State Thruway, Rochester, Syracuse, maybe an inch or two, shouldn't be more than that. We're talking about three to six inches in some of the uh, ridges here, uh, southern tier in New York, north central parts of Pennsylvania, outer on deck screen and white mountains. I think there could be there's three to six inches here, and we have an AccuWeather local storm max of nine inches here. See that? But here's the story, and I want everybody to get ready for this. This is going to be a damaging wind event here, Sunday night into Monday morning. It's southern New Jersey. But especially this zone here, central eastern Long Island, um, the south shore, uh, the, the southern islands, the Cape, Boston, Portland, Bangor. You can have wind gusts up over 60 miles per hour in here. Certainly, we're even thinking 50, 60 miles per hour. You can see that from New York City, southern New England, and most of New England. And if that happens, I think you're going to get some power outages here. This is going to be a very nasty, nasty storm. And it's not on the snow, it's the rain and the wind. A six to, hour, six to seven hour period where you're R plus, you have heavy rain, you have the wind, you have power outages, major travel delays, and what I think could be power outages. So again, we're going to keep you updated on that. We're going to update this. We'll take a look at it tomorrow. You can follow me, by the way, at Accurano. I'm on Twitter or X, formerly Twitter. And again, this is where I'm going to do the videos from here on out, and we will be able to go, uh, do live for now. We're taping, so stay with me if you have any questions.